let's talk about our new highlighter drawing tool and that's what we're going to do in this video we're going to show you how to use this new tool that we just recently released and to get started we're going to actually just remove this title and actually this chart here shows you us using the highlighter tool and certain things you could create yourself for example marking these lower highs on this specific chart really helpful for gauging a trend or if you share charts with people well you could screenshot this right or you could share it or publish it and it just makes your message very clear so why don't we go to a, a fresh new chart just to get started and what we will do here is we will go how about to a chart of amazon so we click and now here we are on a chart of amazon we actually have some volume profiles from previous videos written here so we will remove these and let's get started with the highlighter tool. Now the highlighter tool can be found over here, see our mouse, in the geometric shapes menu. So the geometric shapes menu is where you can find your brush, your highlighter, the path drawing tool, and all of these shapes. But let's just talk about our new drawing tool highlighter and how you could use it. So we go to the geometric shapes menu, click, we select highlighter, and here is our toolbar for the highlighter where we can control its color and dimensions and just watch what happens. So we've all used a highlighter before, right? Of course, we would never highlight like that on a chart. We're just showing you how easy it is. But we've all used a highlighter before. And what we've done is we've used these highlighters to highlight text, say, on a document or just to highlight key, you know, things that stand out. Well, you can use the highlighter tool in the exact same way. And all you have to do is select the tool and then click and hold over the area you want to highlight. And it works like this. We click and hold and we highlight, we click and hold and we highlight. And actually in this video, all we're doing is just highlighting some moments of support, resistance, or some topping moments where price, you know, before breaking out above this price, it actually seemed to drop and, you know, fall back down before continuing higher. So you can use this highlighter tool to draw on your chart and mark levels. Now, these were just some examples, as you saw here, we quickly used it to, uh, you know, highlight something that stands out to us. For example, why don't we do this? Here's the high. Here's the lower high. Here's the lower high. Here it looks like a double top, but a lower high. And now what we're doing on this chart is similar to the chart we did before. And we can write lower high. Let's change this font size to smaller so it fits. And now you can start to see how our highlighter tool is making this more evident and obvious to see on the chart. Lower high. Let's actually delete this one. Lower high, lower high, lower high. Really cool, really fast and easy. And you can communicate these concepts to your friends, your followers, your colleagues, or just for your own note taking simply by selecting the highlighter tool and then highlighting these points on the chart. So let's delete this and let's just show you one example. This video will be quicker than some of our other videos. And what we want to talk about now is the customizations of the highlighter tool that are available to you. So let's say we select the highlighter tool and we want to write here, this is a chart of Amazon. It is on a daily time frame. Now let's remove this background and now we have our, our text here. Let's change the size. And you know, if you keep notes on your chart, you could use the highlighter tool now to essentially highlight the notes that you want to stand out. You could also draw over these notes to, you know, give them this cool highlighter look that sort of looks like you're almost spray painting over it. And it just sort of gives it that added emphasis. And now, you know, you have this on your chart. This is a chart of Amazon and it has highlighter. It has a highlighter over the text. So really important when you have your highlighter and you want to highlight something, whether it's words, whether it's key price levels, you can change the color and opacity of this very easily. So you can select the, uh, the color menu and change it. So see how now it's green? You, it's, it's as easy as that. You can also click and right click and then go to settings and here's your line and then you can change the opacity. So watch the highlighter when we change the opacity. When, we, when it's full, you can't see anything. When it's at zero, you can't really see it at all. So let's find a perfect balance for the strength of this highlighter. 
And why don't we do red because this is actually kind of showing that lower high concept that we were talking about before. So we can do red, change the opacity, that's perfect. Let's do the same thing here, red, opacity looks good, and we're good to go. And then of course in this region, because it's mostly a text highlight, why don't we keep it yellow because that's a very traditional highlighter color. And let's change the opacity more to about 23% or so. So it's a little, it's a little easier now to see the font. So that is the highlighter tool. We hope that you enjoyed this video and it's really up to you on how you want to use the highlighter tool. And you know, freedom of choice is very important to us. And so your research is entirely custom to your needs and make it work for you. So here's the highlighter tool in the geometric shapes menu. And one last look at this chart where, you know, we're marking lower highs with our highlighter tool. And, you know, we're even highlighting this text to really make it pop. So thanks for watching. Please leave any questions or comments below. And we look forward to building new tools for you. Uh, if you have any recommendations for us, also feel free to leave that in the comments. Have a great day.